My name is Amanda Callahan. I'm a senior reservoir engineer at California Resources Corporation. And today I'm gonna to be demonstrating a NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory experiment on stomp rockets. Um, so this is an example of what we're building. Um, and this is the assembly for the rocket launcher. Um, so to assemble the rocket, you need half inch PVC pipe. And the reason it's half inch is because that's what's going to fit exactly into a two liter bottle. So make sure it's exactly half inch PVC. Um, then you're going to wrap the first piece of paper around basically your test piece of pipe. And you don't want it too tight because then when you launch your rocket, it's not gonna release and it's gonna get stuck. So wrap it around and give it a little bit of give so that your pipe is moving pretty easily. And once you have that in place, um, just take some normal scotch tape and start taping along the side to make sure that it's not gonna come apart. These are kind of templates that you have on JPL's website, um, which is at the bottom as well. Um, and we're basically gonna cut one of these into a cone, and that's where the cone in the top comes from. So depending on the design of your cone, um, you may want a more narrow cone, a wider cone, you can see how that affects the drag effect. And to do this, basically the middle of your flat side is gonna be your point, and wrap around until you have as tight a cone as you want. And then the same thing here, I'm just gonna put a piece of scotch tape over it. And for this part, the cone is pretty important in terms of direction of your rocket flying. So if you have a crooked cone, you'll probably see your rocket kind of uh, going a little wonky when it launches. Um, so try to keep it as straight as possible with your rocket. And the last step is to do the fins. These are optional, but a lot of times they can help with stability. And same thing, I'm just gonna freehand some of these. And there's no specific, specific design for the fins. You can kind of do them however you want. Some people do triangles, uh, some people do trapezoids. Um, and you can try different things and see how they affect your rocket. And would this be neat to build several rockets and then keep a sheet of responses for each one? You can build separate rockets, um, especially if you have more than one child, or you can modify your rocket. Um, so. One thing that we like to do is if you notice that like your fins are causing a problem or your nose is causing a problem, take that part off and just replace it with something different. Um, that also gives you a chance to see if you only change one thing at a time, you're kind of following the scientific method and you can see if I change only the fins out, then that was the effect of the fins. If I change only the nose out but everything else is the same, I know it was the nose. Um, so I'm just gonna use some triangle fins on this one. So now because I haven't taped the pieces together, I kind of have a six fin design. Um, so we can try that one and then um, depending on how that works, I may want to tape them together, switch to three fins, um, but it gives me lots of options. Um, so now I've got two rockets to test. Um, so I'm going to set those to the side and I'll talk about the rocket launcher assembly. So this, like I said, is half inch PVC pipe and you can get this at any hardware store. Um, they'll also cut it for you if you don't have a saw. Um, so the instructions on, on the instructions on NASA's website um, will tell you how long all the pieces should be, but total you need about five feet of half inch PVC. Um, so I went ahead and pre-cut these and labeled them with the piece numbers so I know how to assemble it. Um, so I'm just gonna follow the instructions um, and I'll show you kind of how it gets put together. And with these, you wanna make sure they're as tight as possible. You don't have to glue them together, but any gaps for air are basically gonna make your rocket lose power because we're gonna launch all the air from the bottle in here to the end of our rocket. So if any comes out, um, it's probably not gonna work as well. And you have to put caps on anything that's open that you aren't going to be launching the bottle or the rocket from. So these two are the ones that get caps on the bottom. If you don't have the caps, you can also duct tape them um, and that'll probably work as well. Um, then we're gonna take a two liter bottle, um, try and get the thinnest plastic you can find. Um, we're about to jump on the bottle, so when you jump, it might crack if you have a thicker plastic bottle. And you'll need sensible shoes. Sensible shoes. <laughs> 
Um, so all I'm gonna do is kind of put a tiny bit of the bottle um, on top of the pipe and make sure that I have a seal with some duct tape. So for this part, you really do need the duct tape because we're about to put a lot of pressure on this joint. And just try and make sure you get it as smooth as possible um, to make sure it's a sealed joint. Okay, so now we have the rocket launcher assembly. When we're ready to launch, I'm basically gonna put my rocket onto here and jump onto the bottle. So now that we have our rocket launcher set up outside, a couple safety things. You wanna make sure that everyone has safety glasses on because um, these are gonna take off really fast. You also want to make sure if you're pointing the launcher out instead of up that you don't have anyone or cars, people, pets, anyone kind of downstream because they can go several hundred feet. Um, so after that, make sure everyone's on this side of the bottle. Um, you can load your rocket and make sure again that it's loose and it's actually going to take off. And when you're ready, jump on the bottle with both feet. So after you've launched it, when you're ready to do another launch, uh, make sure you have the same person doing it and just blow into the end to make sure you're reinflating the bottle. And you'll see that it reinflated, it's not cracked, so I can use this bottle again. Um, so now I'm gonna try my other rocket. And same thing, when I'm ready, I'm gonna jump on top with both feet. So you can see uh, both of my rockets had a kind of different action. So this one basically went straight up. This one with my trapezoid fins basically spun off to the side, um, but both of them went super high. Um, and this is kind of a reusable, so I can keep changing my design, adjusting my launcher um, to get kind of the effect that you want. If you're interested in learning more about energy and the benefits of oil and gas in California, you can find out more at poweringcalifornia.com. And if you're interested in CRC and what we do, you can visit crc.com.